This episode of Technically a Conversation is going to be a little different because on today's episode, we're celebrating our one year anniversary. To help us celebrate, we brought a few of our super friends on to play a trivia game based on our prior episodes. Feel free to play along and see how much you remember next on Technically a Conversation. Greetings, you're listening to Technically a Conversation, a podcast where we share an interesting topic or story with each other and hope you find it interesting as well. I'm one half of your host, Jose, and I'm joined, as always, by my lovely co-host, Isela. How are you doing today? Feeling extra fabulous. How are you? I'm doing great also. Super excited to welcome a few of our super friends to our one-year anniversary show. Much like our other specials, this episode is brought to you commercial-free. Thanks to a generous donation from the LexCorp Corporation. <laughs> LexCorp, let's build a better tomorrow today. Isela, would you like to introduce our super friends to our guests that are joining us today? Absolutely. We have Elena, one of the queens. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we have AJ joining us, one of our super friends. Hello. And then we also have Steven. Also, we call him the Duke. Good afternoon. <laughs> First of all, welcome. Thank you so much for agreeing to be on our show. We really yes. do appreciate it. It means a lot to us. Yes. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for having us. This episode is going to be a little different because we'll be playing a trivia game based on our prior episodes. Let's see how much you all remember. Ready to get started? Yes. Sure. Ready. Great. Let's get started. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our one-year anniversary unnamed trivia show! A Technically a Conversation, George Perez and Marv Wolfman production. Today's contestants are the ultimate super friends, one half of the Queen's Elena, super friend AJ, and the Duke, Stephen B. You'll be asked a question from one of our prior podcasts, if you answer correctly, you'll get a point. But if you answer incorrectly, you'll lose a point. Jose, tell them what fabulous prize they'll be playing for. Since we're a mediocre and third-rate podcast, you'll be playing for bragging rights because we can't afford to get you a real prize. <laughs> very good that's fun we're gonna flip a coin for the order of operation we're gonna go ladies first so we know elena's gonna go first right but we're gonna see who is next who's second and third okay who wants to call heads i'll call heads you, okay aj's calling heads let's see oh <laughs> oh look it fell on heads though perfect <laughs> so much for cat. okay perfect so we got aj in second and then the duke will come in third Isela and I are going to take turns asking questions, and kids, huddle around the cell phone, and feel free to play along too. <laughs> so Elena, since you're, you'll be going first, Play-Doh was originally created to clean what surface? Oh my god, that was like the first episode. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the ability to steal? <laughs> if she can't answer, yes. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, no, I'm going to pass. Final answer. <laughs> <laughs> Final answer. Uh, <laughs> what is walls? <laughs> that is correct. Very acceptable. I was going to say like computer keyboards and I was like, oh, wait, they did not exi exist back then. Keyboards. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> the second episode was the Barbie episode. Let's keep it simple. Barbie is short for which name? And that question, let me double check. Does that now go to Steven? Because AJ got one right. That's right. Okay, perfect. Steven, what is Barbie short for? <laughs> Barbara? Oh, very lovely. Oh, that was a good guess. Excellent. I don't think there's <laughs> anything else it could be. <laughs> I don't think so. You're right. <laughs> Elena, it's a popular misconception 
that coconut water can be used as a substitute for this in an emergency. <gasps> oh my goodness. I remember, and but I don't remember. Oh my gosh. I know it's good for electrolytes, but there was something else. What was it? Oh no, I'm drawing a blank. I would have gotten Barbara right. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh my goodness. AJ, do you know? I'll have to, I'll have to, um, I remember it was something medical. That's true. It is something medical. Okay. I have two guesses. So let me try my first one and then I'll let Steven go if it's wrong. And then I'll try my second guess just for the, just so that I don't humiliate myself too bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The first guess I'm going to go with uh, is insulin. <laughs> ah. Steven? I seem to remember being plasma. <gasps> Yay. See, I do take notice. Uh. Good job. Thank All right. <laughs> Steven is showing us up here. All right. So fourth question. Now it's going to be back to Elena. I'm going to also skip. No, I'm just going to go. <laughs> oh, great. You haven't even heard it yet. I love it. <laughs> In the Home Intruders episode, how did the woman Amber, who had just moved out on her own, she was really excited. I don't know if you remember her, but. She, how did she find out that she was alone when she was in the bathtub? Like the first time she realized, oh shit, someone's living here. How did she realize she was alone? That she was not alone. Oh, not alone. Sorry. Right. She was not alone. <sighs> she was in the bathtub. Oh my gosh. That's what happened. She saw something. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Why don't I remember any of these episodes? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say that she saw a shadow. <laughs> Not entirely. <laughs> Not entirely. So it's like. There you go. All right, AJ. Do you happen to remember when that lady was in the tub? What she saw when she realized she was not alone? I was going to say shadow too, so, <laughs> but let me see here. Let me see here. Ah, what was it? I, I want to say a, a, like a, a pair of feet. All right. We can change up the question if Steven doesn't get it right. No. Uh, somebody walked past the door. I have no idea. No. Not a person. So the answer is she saw an attic door open, that little flap that she kept saying that there was like rats and stuff. She heard, she thought there were rats, but it was a, it was a whole ass person. Um. So there was an attic door in her bathroom? In her bedroom. So she was in her bathroom and she saw that thing open over there. I would have never guessed that. It was like, dun, dun, dun. That's one of those things. I swear I've listened to all your episodes. I swear. That's okay. That that one was tough. Nobody got that one right. That one was tough. We can move on to Stetson. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that one right either. And I listened to it probably like 10 times when I was editing it. Okay, I'll, I'll go easier next time, I promise. Steven Stetson, not as cool as our Stephen B. But he was the father of John B. Stetson, who created the Stetson Hat Company. He also owned the hipsterish sounding hat company. What was the name of his company? That's you, Elena. Oh, he did have a hat company. I do remember you mentioning this. It's very hipsterish. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember either. It's hard. <laughs> do you want to take a guess at it, AJ? Yeah, sure. Uh, no, I, I don't. I don't remember this one at all. To be honest, <laughs> I'm just going to say no now because not a clue. <laughs> okay. It was the no name hat company. Ah, uh, okay. That's a hard one. Never would have got it. Ah, uh, okay. This one's definitely easier, hope hopefully. Anyway. Okay. Back to Elena. The animals on drugs. Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're still what I use that. <laughs> on the animals on drugs, what does the dolphin chew on? To get high and it like passes it around a frog or a toad mm. i don't know why he would have a frog or a toad in the ocean but <laughs> that's, <okay. laughs> that's just as great 
<laughs> All right. AJ, do you happen to remember what the dolphin chews on to get high? Yes, that would be pufferfish. Yes. Woo-hoo! Oh, yeah. Well played. That makes sense. He's on the board, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for you, Stephen. Okay. According to this urban legend, you might end up in a bathtub filled with ice after being harvested for which organ? Kidneys. Woohoo! Nice. I would have known that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn it. I think we all would have known that one, quite honest. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so when the moon, we when we released the, the moon episode, I had talked about when it just formed, this is going to be really easy. Um, wait, wait. Is it Elena? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Again. It's a 50-50 shot on this one. Did we have a longer or a shorter day when it just formed? Longer. Shorter. Yeah. <laughs> the other one. She's like, la shorter. Lorder. Does that mean I can steal? I think I know the answer. I think I know the answer. I think you automatically get the point in that one, Adrian. I know, right? I do think so, yeah. All right. That's my, that's my, I won the toy, the coin toss <laughs> point. Up. That's the advantage. Johnny Depp. Award-winning actor, producer, musician, and alleged wife beater suffers from phasmophobia, a fear of what? Ghosts. Very lovely. Hashtag Team Amber. Hashtag Herd Herd. Herd Herd? Oh my God. Herd Herd. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> I agree. Thank you, Steven. She's horrendous. I think I'm the only person that supports Amber Herd. Yeah. That was really because she's, really she's in a DC film. It really is just because of that. Exactly. It might be just because of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we are back to Elena. No, it's Steven. Oh, I'm sorry. I skip. Can I have another turn? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're right. Back to Steven. In the dreams episode, there are a few common dreams. Can you list a couple that we had talked about? I only talked about three. There's, there's, there's bound to be something in pub, in public being naked, because that seems to be the one that everybody has. And <laughs> yeah. let's say uh, um, falling down something. Falling is definitely one of them. Yeah. Teeth falling out. There you go. Okay. Oh, oh you. Flying. We did mention that. Yes, we did mention. Well, I don't know if that is. I think that that question is too hard, Isela. Okay, okay, okay. That, that's fair. Your questions are like too specific. I know for sure teeth falling out. <laughs> teeth falling out is definitely one of them. <laughs> and no, AJ didn't have a turn. Well, you you got some too. Do we give partial credit on this one, Jose? Yeah, I, I think that's fine. We did mention flying. Okay. <laughs> we did mention flying. Perfect. What's the score right now, Isela? Because I can't tell who's winning with your scoreboard that you have. Because everybody's lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's um elena is one aj is actually four and steven is three all right so it's still anybody's game Woohoo! it is it is one question left yeah <laughs> <laughs> number stations can be tracked back to this war that started in 1947 who was that for not it <laughs> i think that's for aj all right sorry yeah that is for me uh, I don't know why I'm taking credit if I don't know. I should have been like, yeah. oh, that's for Steven. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know this. So I'm going to pass on this one. Steven? To be quite honest, I'm not really sure either. Um, Cold War? Oh, nice. Very lovely. Now we got a tie. Hey. In the 27 Club, of the many people that I spoke about, what did most of them have in common? Other than dry- dying it. 27, right? But what did, what did most of them have in common? They were all celebrities. Aside from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> habits? I guess I'll say what <laughs> habits. Hopefully that doesn't give it too much away. Um, they were all into drugs. Ding, ding, ding. You're on the board. Yee-hoo! <laughs> Very lovely. Okay, this one's for you, AJ. Let's do it. 11% of the population will suffer from a sleep paralysis phenomenon where you feel like you're being crushed by a demonic being. What is this phenomenon called? 
I thought it was called sleep paralysis. <laughs> There's a specific term for when you feel like you're being crushed by a demonic being. <laughs> oh, okay. When you're being crushed. <laughs> All right. I think I'll have to pass this one over to Steven. And I will pass it along to Elena because not a clue. <laughs> okay. It's the incubus phenomenon. Ah, uh, see. Incubus. You didn't want a chance to answer anyway, did you? So that's fine. Apparently not, yeah. <laughs> no. All right. No points awarded there. Okay. Haunted house origins. What? Oh, wait. Who's next? Sorry. So Elena also passed. Or no, it's back to Elena, right? Yeah. I would say Elena, yeah. Okay. Haunted house origins. What country did the first haunted house start? Oh, Japan. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to say the United States. I don't know. Mm. Probably not. AJ, do you have a guess? What country? Mm, I'm going to go with the UK. Woo! Wonder Woman was created by Dr. William Moulton Marston, who is also famous for another one of his inventions. What did he invent in 1921? And this is for Stephen. I'm going to say the, the licky stuff on envelopes. <laughs> the li- mm. Elena? I don't know. He created also, wow, it's going to be something super random, huh? Well, it, it became an important part about Wonder Woman. Uh, <laughs> I think someone just got it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, saw a couple of light bulbs light up. A blood pressure cuff. I'm all blood pressure cuff. <laughs> Oops, no, 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 I was wrong, sorry. Oh, what? I said that. oh I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I pressed the wrong one. I was like, I'm looking at the answer, what the hell? <laughs> it was the lie detector test, which is when he created the lasso of Hesia, that was kind of the lie detector that Wonder Woman uses. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> all right. So, AJ, in the Past Lives episode... I talked about how kids typically start talking about their past lives around a certain age. What age does that talk usually start? Oh, man, I'm terrible with numbers like that, too. Uh, What was it? Hold on. I'm trying to remember the actual episode. What did you say? Yeah, we were talking about some kids who were talking about their weird little past lives. Or so they said. (laughs) (laughs) That's the one with the little man on fire. Little man can't get up. (laughs) I want to say I was seven years old. Mm. All right, Stephen, can you remember? That's a problem because I was going to say that as well. Now we're going higher or we're going lower. <laughs> we're, we're, I'm going to go. Check, check the podcast. <laughs> check the recording. <laughs> Stephen and I are being duped. Sorry. It's one of the Mandela effect things, isn't it? That's what it is. Um, right? Yeah. Let's see. <sighs> Five years old. <laughs> Elena, the last one to guess. Ooh, that was going to be my guess. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <sighs> Let's go with eight. No, ten years old. <laughs> Two to three years old. When they barely, as soon as they can start talking, they're talking about those past lives. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I was going to say two, but then I thought about Elias and I was like, there's no way he could tell me that he had a past life. <laughs> He's almost three. And I'm like, no, <laughs> there's just no way. <laughs> he He's is a new, a new soul. soul. He is. That's okay. <laughs> his conversation. Yeah. I was going to say his conversation skills are not that great to tell me that he had a past life. So I was like, no, I can't be that young. I'll <laughs> refrain from weighing into this topic because I'm highly skeptical of most of that. Oh, that would doubt. <laughs> yes. In the 1917 play titled La Llorona by Francisco Neve, how does Luisa murder her son? That's mine, right? Yeah. By drowning him. Steven. Ooh. Oh, man. I thought that's what it was, too. Yeah. I think that's a, the traditional reply, but not in the original play. Oh. Smothering. Elena. I'm going to say poisoning. She stabs him with a dagger. Oh, my gosh. Why would you do that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a lady. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, why? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, AJ. Is Dia de los Muertos more like a seance or like a family reunion of loved ones? More like a family reunion. Yay! 
It's funny that you brought this up earlier, Stephen. The Mandela effect has been explained by researchers <laughs> as being what type of memory? Yeah, false memory. Hey! Very nice! Very nice! All right. Another quality guess. <laughs> that was a good guess. That was a very good guess. As far as gratitude is concerned, what was the easiest way to find gratitude for a loved one? We had talked about it actually in the beginning of the episode, and it was part of an article. The easiest way to find gratitude for a loved one. Oh, I'm sorry. This is for Elena. The easiest way to find gratitude. Like, how would you have to think about them? I remember it was for the Thanksgiving episode. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is true. Jeez. Well, I pass. I don't know. All right. AJ. I'm going to have to pass as well. All right. Steven, do you remember? <laughs> yeah, I seem to remember being like several different things, but I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember that one at all. No. Okay. It was basically <laughs> thinking about them like you would never see them again or as if they died. Oh, that's oh. sad. Yeah, I would have gotten that one wrong too. Yeah, it is sad. I remember <laughs> saying it's a little dark, but yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. So who's next? Elena? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Elizabeth Bathory has a very famous, very metal nickname. What was her infamous nickname? Oh, snap. I was going to say, oh, the blood. The nickname. I should know this too. You're kind of on the right track. Yeah, you weren't far off. <laughs> I think you're overthinking it. All my questions are super easy. Elizabeth Bathory, what is her infamous nickname? Which sounds metal AF. <laughs> Elizabeth Bathory. No, I know. And I should know this because I like her. I've read up on her story and I can't think of it right now. I'm just drawing blanks left and right. Um, my gosh, I know I know who she is, but oh my God, I can't think of it. AJ, do you want to try? I had it at blood something, but she got oh, that yeah. part. So <laughs> um, I, I don't think it's right, but I do all, I'm also going to take your advice and not overthink it and say the blood queen. Steven, I'm going to give that one a try. No, but I know he's not... It, done a million miles off and I can't think what it was. Um, no, I'll have, to, I'll have to pass. I'll have to pass. So the blood part was definitely right. It's the blood countess. Mm. So close. Yes. Countess. countess. Blood royalty. I knew it was blood royalty. <laughs> New blood was involved. The Earl of Blood. I'm just kidding. All right. The <laughs> so back to you, Elena. Oh, man. <laughs> Barbara. Nice, easy 50-50 here. In the glow in the dark episode, how long something glows, is that called the perseverance or is that called the persistence? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ding! Uh, I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to get it wrong. Persistence. Perseverance. Persistence. Okay. No, <laughs> okay, cool. You're right. Yay. Very nice. Yes. Yeah. So back to you, AJ. What popular talk show was fined three hundred ninety-five thousand for playing the presidential alert during a skit? Mm. No, I'm blanking out completely on this one. I'm going to pass it to Stephen. Um, Howard Stern. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to try and take a guess, Elena? I'm sorry. What was a question again? What popular talk show was fined three hundred ninety-five thousand for playing the presidential alert during a skit? <sighs> Oh, yes, I do remember you mentioning. Um, oh my gosh, I do remember hearing about. No, I, I, I don't know. Jay Leno. Jimmy Kimmel Live. Oh, I was going to say David Letterman next. <laughs> I went too old there. Now, David Letterman's been retired for like 20 years. I know. I was like, wait, I went too old there. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> All right. So now it's back to you, AJ. Hangover tips. To avoid a hangover, I mentioned that there's a specific color of liquor that's most recommended to, if you want to have a lot of drinks, to avoid a hangover, what color of liquor should you imbibe? What color should you imbibe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> um, uh, brown. I know. It should be clear. No. I was going to say clear. 
No. <laughs> no, yes. Okay, Stephen, I thank you. Stephen, go ahead and say it, just for saying it. Hmm, let me think. Would it be clear? <laughs> yes, I was thinking sir. the same thing. I was like, no, clear. It should be clear. I don't know. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, you would get a very nasty hangover with her. Okay. Did I press the bell instead of the buzzer for AJ? Yes. You did, yes. You did. Oh, shit. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. Oops. That's funny. I was like... Sorry. I'm taking the points anyways. All right. I'll try not to make that mistake a third time. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the most famous equation that attempts to explain Fermi's paradox? Oh, my goodness. There's a famous rapper by this name, too. Oh, yeah. So, uh, no hints. <laughs> I'm ready to steal this one. You're like, I got it. I know this. And you even played the the song, and I can't even think of the the name of the rapper either. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible at this. I wish I should never go on a game show ever. <laughs> um, no sé. Uh, oh my gosh. Do you want to try it, AJ? Yeah, go. You look ready to answer. Yeah, it was the. It was the Lil Yachi equation. Lil no, I'm just kidding. Lil it's the Drake equation. <laughs> Very lovely. Good job. I was like, what is called the P. Diddy equation? <laughs> P. Diddy Puff Daddy. All his names. Yeah, P. Diddy Puff Daddy, yes. The artist formerly known as Puff Daddy. Uh, I think this next one is... Oh, we, oh, that was the one we tag teamed. Okay. Dr. Wade Davis. He traveled to Haiti to observe some reanimated zombies and he wrote a book about the experience what is the name of the book that was later turned into a movie oh i didn't know what it was i never thinking about it until you said book and then yes yeah, so it's an old movie <laughs> serpent of the rainbow <gasps> wow nice pulling it through good job good movie at the time very good movie at the time yeah yeah i heard good things about it <laughs> all right <laughs> So this is back to you, Elena. What animal is being used in Cambodia to look for abandoned landmines or unexploded landmines? Rats. Good job. You're back on the board, Elena. Yeah, girl. All right. After 20 questions. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got the glow in the dark just right. Just recently. So nobody's winning anything, so... It's all for fun, so it's okay. It's all fun. Bragging rights. <laughs> Whoa, you said bragging rights. I'm holding you to that. Well, yeah, you do get bragging rights. <laughs> right. And I will say both men are at seven each. What? Oh, boy. I think it's... <laughs> Call it a draw. So let's see if we can take AJ off of that bragging rights throne with this one. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, hopefully it's not too hard. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of the first TV show that WGBH, Boston's NPR, first captioned? Oh, the first TV show. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass on that one. Yeah, I, I have no idea at all. No, I'd have to pass. <laughs> Elena? I don't know. Mary Tyler Moore? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. The French Chef with Julia Child. No, it's, it was wrong. <laughs> you put the bell. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, I thought it was right. <laughs> You're giving him false hope. Can you get a, some post-it notes? <laughs> Sorry. I want to give everybody bells. That's why. <laughs> you do. Oh, yeah. Ping. That's funny. I don't think that sentiment was involved every time I would answer questions. I, was like, <laughs> I realized early on that that was really mean, so I stopped doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but the answer was the French chef with Julia Child. Ah, uh, see, I remember now. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, so um, Elena didn't get that right. So then now we're going to AJ. In the Good Dads episode, I mentioned the percentage of time that was spent by quote unquote the best dads in that pygmy tribe, the Aka tribe. Do you remember the percentage that it was? Uh, we already went over my numbers weakness. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <We did. laughs> um, 80%. Oh, that's really high. Um, Sorry. I probably should have given a hint. Okay. Next. Stephen. Um, 
<laughs> no, 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 when they get 80, so I'll come down from there. Um, <laughs> it's definitely not that one. Shall we say, I'll go half, say 40%. Oh, wow. I'm, uh, what do you think, Jose? I was going to say judges. Should we give that to him? It's really close. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was 47%. Very close. Good job. That's a hard one. This one should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Elena. Mm, that's what you guys have said about all of them. Sweet Mercy Brown is thought to have been the inspiration for Lucy in what popular vampire book? Bram Stoker's. Oh, that's just the author's name. <laughs> uh, You're missing one word. Vampires. I will steal. <laughs> yeah, he's he's yeah. like chomping at it. Right? Well, and then the funny thing is, this is actually the first episode that I listened to. Oh, cool. Oh, that's so cool. Dracula. Oh, Dracula. Duh, yes. All right, AJ. Oh, my goodness. You guys are tying it up here. I thought it sounded weird when I said Bram Stoker's vampires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you missed like the most important word in that sentence. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Dracula. I'm not good at this. So, Steven, in this assassination survivors episode, I talked at the very end, who has survived the most assassination attempts? Who was that? I would say Rasputin. Oh, that was the joke. That's funny, but no. No, but he did because he got shot and poisoned and all sorts. Seriously? No. Uh, 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 we did shot. Uh, uh, demanding up by his decision on that one because no way. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, do you happen to know, Elena? <laughs> mm, little Caesar? I don't know. <laughs> 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 Oh, last one here. I'm going to go with Castro. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's true. Very nice. Well played. Yeah. Fidel Castro. So back to you, Stephen. The city of Centralia, which is still burning, by the way, was the inspiration for what famous video game and horror movie franchise? That would be Silent Hill. Very nice. Well, that was like very easy. That was an easy question. Yep. <laughs> okay. This one might be a little difficult, so I guess we'll find out. Oh, man. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> I did a, a Robert Smalls and a Fannie Lou Hamer episode. What did Robert pretend to be in order to free his family and himself and a whole bunch of others? A Republican. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. AJ, do you happen to remember this one? Um, I want to say lawyer. No. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Steven, do you remember this one? I think so, yeah. Did he um, pretend to be the ship's captain? Yes. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah, I seem to remember him shouting to shore or something and yeah. Yes, yes. Excellent. Back to you, Elena. Alex Wheeler discovered he had aphantasia when a character on Space Force was asked to picture what famous clown on a surfboard. I don't remember the clown, but I remember what aphantasia was. Um, let's say Ronald McDonald. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Excellent guess! <laughs> Yay! Yes, this time it's true! This time it's right! <laughs> yeah, this time I didn't mess up on the buns. Sorry. <laughs> Would anybody have not gone for Ronald McDonald? <laughs> I know! Famous, the one famous clown, right? You're like, Bozo the Clown? I was thinking it, so I don't know. That's where my brain goes. <laughs> oh, yes. That's scary. <laughs> Elizabeth Smith Friedman, she had a hidden message in that photo of her first class. Do you guys remember? Oh, who's the next person? AJ? I am... Um... <laughs> What was that hidden message of the people and their faces and all that? Uh, I I can't remember what the what the hidden message was. I remember that there was a hidden message. Uh, yeah, I'll pass it to Stephen. No, I haven't got a clue. I remember them looking in different directions, or there was some sort of code in, in the way they were posing for the photo, but no idea what the message was. Got to pass it on. Oh, dang it. Do you remember this one, Elena? I think Elena's checked out like Ivanka Trump after the elections. No. <laughs> Why did I did I freeze or something? Oh no. I thought you were like playing on your phone or something. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um but I don't remember. Okay, that one was probably too hard. It was <laughs> knowledge is power. 
Oh, yeah, no. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> so this one should be easy peasy for you, AJ. <laughs> there's really only two answers for this one. Well, there's two popular ones. All right. Dolly Parton founded which COVID-19 vaccine? Moderna. Ew. Very lovely. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You guys are so tight still. That's insane. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. So next is Steven. Virginia Hall. Remember, she had an injured an injury to her foot. How did she injure her foot? <laughs> That's strangely specific. This gave her that. Um, <laughs> that gave her that specific. Um, a little hobble. She had a certain swagger in her walk. <laughs> a swagger. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not a clue. Not a clue. Elena, do you remember? How did she hurt it? Yeah, uh, it was. I don't know. It was frostbitten. I have a good feeling about the about our tie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, AJ. A hunting accident. Oh yeah. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Very nice. Well played. Yeah. Good job. This one's for the Duke, Stephen B. <laughs> what type of blemish-free red cow that I famously can't pronounce <laughs> needs to be sacrificed <laughs> in order to bring about the tribulation? No, no idea. Pass, passing it on. Elena? I know this one. Heifer. Oh. <laughs> oh, good job. Red heifer would also have been acceptable. <laughs> heifer. <laughs> Excellent. That's so great. Uh, so next is AJ. In the West Point Ghost Stories episode, there was a famous paranormal couple that were uh, investigating there. What famous couple went to investigate West Point? Oh, boy. I know. Oh, my gosh. What is their freaking name? Yeah, you don't need first names if you want to just do their last name. That's fine. The Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm going to hate myself for this one. It's like at the tip of your tongue? It really, really is. <laughs> the... Oh, I hate that feeling. <laughs> Um, okay, I remember one of them was named Ed. Yes. And the other one was named, oh, what was her name? Warren, the Warren, the Warren couple. Very nice. You pulled it ahead. <laughs> Very awesome. Good job. <laughs> I'm pleased you didn't pass it on because I wouldn't have had a clue. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. We're down to the last 10 questions. How are we doing on points, Isala? Oh, let's go back. Um, AJ's at 12. Elena's at six and Steven's at 10. Still anybody's game. Ooh, still close. Still close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still anybody can win this. Yes. Here we go, Steven. What famous former member of the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn is also a character in the brilliant DC TV show Pennyworth, now streaming on HBO Max? Not a sponsored ad. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair Crowley? Yes. Very nice. I don't even know where it came from. Very, I don't know where they came from. That's funny. I blacked out. The only thing I can think of, but it was related to something to do with the devil and the traumatic order. And it was like, that had to be. Yeah, good job. <laughs> All right. So then that means this one's for you, Miss Elena. In the medical cannabis episode, other than lack of funding, what is holding medical cannabis from being researched further? The government. I, Can you be a little bit more specific? <laughs> yeah. What about what about the government? What is the government doing to it? You're on the right track. Yeah. You're like, you probably know the answer. <laughs> I don't know. The government is just not allowing it to go further. It has to do with that big pharma stuff, no? <laughs> no, not. that's not the big pharma. But yeah, you pretty much got it. It's illegal. Yeah, it's illegal. Government is making it illegal. Oh. We'll give you the point. You were close. Awesome. Yeah, I think you should get it too. But is Big Pharma stopping it being legalized, though, isn't it really? It's, it's all the lobbying that's not allowing the government to de de decriminalize it and make it legal to actually do work on it. Just wear the same because they're horrible. I think it's more the DEA at this point. Yeah, the DEA. And, and yeah, you're right. They do have a lot, of, a lot of lobbyists. Yeah, a lot of money involved for sure. AJ, how many bus drivers did Diana, hunter of bus drivers, kill in August of 2013? Why do you keep giving me the number ones? 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, 13. Stephen B. See, that seemed, that seemed really high because I didn't think it was that many. Um, let's take a stab at three. <laughs> oh. Elena? I was going to say one or two. I don't, but you said bus drivers, so it makes me think two. But I thought it was one. Oh. Two is correct. Well done. All right. Elena's up to eight. Look at you now. Hey. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. All right. So now uh, it's AJ. In the Wizard of Oz episode, we talked a lot about costumes. This one should be easy, though. What was the lion costume made of? Asbestos. Oh. <laughs> Most all the other ones were, for sure. Yeah, that would have been correct if I would have asked you any other ones. <laughs> all right. Steven, do you happen to remember that one? The lion costume. What uh, What was it made of? What was it made of? Mm -hmm. I'll go with um, actual lion hair. Yes. Excellent. It was. <laughs> it, was a, it was a whole pelt. It sucks. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I just remember all the silver paint being a problem. I didn't remember about the lion skin. Oh. Yeah, I do remember the silver paint. <laughs> yeah. That's so crazy, right? <laughs> Elena, what was the name the fake Zodiac Killer was called by the San Francisco Chronicle after it was discovered the calls to the Jim Dunbar show were a hoax? <laughs> it's a name that rhymes and it's very fun. <laughs> <laughs> Rhyming is usually fun. Uh, the Kodiak killer. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> AJ? I'm going to pass on this one as well. I don't remember the nickname. Stephen B. Uh, um, I know it was Ted Cruz, <laughs> but um, I'll go with Charles Balls. <laughs> That's great. Well, it rhymed, sort of, nearly. Sam the Sham. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's funny, though. <laughs> okay, so then um, that was Steven was the last one. Okay, so then Elena. In the English Channel Tunnel episode, what horrible event took place right after the tunnel opened? There was a flood. Mm. Mm. AJ? Mm. Oh, man, now I remember. <laughs> Can I take it back? <laughs> Can you send it back? Yeah. Cut. Cut. Um, there was a collapse. All right, Mr. Duke. I believe there was a fire. Yes, there was a fire which needed a flood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job. Back to you, Elena. How many parachutes did D.B. Cooper request as part of his ransom demands? Eight. AJ? This one I actually do know, even though it's a number one. <laughs> Four. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Very nice. Cosmic radiation. And this is for you, Stephen. Yeah. What did Arno and Robert see or hear that was inexplicable at first, that they were trying... All these things to figure out what the heck this was. What was the thing they decided it was in the end? Or what did they, well, it was the Big Bang that they were hearing. Is that right? Right. It was the Big Bang. But what was that? How did they realize that something was like wrong or <laughs> they're like something's. Yeah. What was that hint? It was that constant background static they were hearing all, everywhere, no matter where they pointed the telescope. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Static. That's exactly it. Used to get on me all the early telly. This one's easy peasy, Elena. The Superboy comic inspired what popular TV show that starred the charismatic and delightful Tom Welling as Clark Kent, the beautiful and captivating Kristen Crook as Lana Lang, and the brilliant and talented Michael Rosenbaum as Lex Luthor? Superman. <laughs> AJ? So, Cosmic Radiation is the last episode I listened to, so... <laughs> But oh, okay. based on what you were saying, based on what you were saying, I'm going to go with Smallville. Yeah. Very nice. Doesn't Superman come out in Smallville? He does, but the name of the show was called Smallville. <laughs> yeah, it was a Superman episode. 
<laughs> All right, Stephen, what is the active ingredient in magic mushrooms that doctors have isolated? Oh, and they use it. It's like a it's a long weird word. Not really long, but it's a weird word. Oh, and you listen to this like oh, I remember the end of the word, and I can't remember the beginning of it. Um. <laughs> And I'm not giving the end of the word because somebody else will get it. Right. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> no, I can't remember. It's not, it's, it's, it's not coming. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> all right. Elena, do you happen to remember? It was something like psilocybin, psilocybin, psilocybin. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> That's close enough, I think. <laughs> psilocybin. Psilo- psilocybin. Okay. <laughs> Psilocybin. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Unfortunately, you're going to have a hard time with this one, AJ. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> true. In what year did... No, just kidding. <laughs> right. I said numbers. How many? <laughs> no, no years. Effie Canning, the woman who claimed to have written Rockabye Baby in 1872, was the cousin of what American folk hero? Marty Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a bad guess, actually. <laughs> Stephen? Um, American questions. Um, <laughs> Paul Bunyan? <laughs> no! Elena? Davy Crockett? <laughs> oh, my God. You're right. Oh, yes. Oh, very good. <laughs> you are an excellent guesser, ma'am. No. Yeah. It was very good. Coming on strong. Yeah. This this is going to be hard to believe. Okay. Elena, you got 10. Very awesome. AJ, you got 14. Steven, you got 14. What the hell? <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. So, you guys need a tiebreaker. <laughs> oh, God. I don't even know. Something with numbers. So, we'll have to take a guess. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Neither of us have done particularly well with numbers. So... <laughs> I think you'll have to pick something how how tall is, how small is, how deep is. This much. How big is this much? Do you have another question, Jose? I do not. I don't have another question either. We'll just name them both the winners. I know, you guys. It's a draw. That'll do. Yeah. I'll take the bragging rights on Sundays, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like that. Perfect. T- take alternate Wednesdays. Right. I won. Yeah, that's when you guys get to say I won. <laughs> you guys, this was so fun. Thank you so much for allowing us to interrupt your day. It was. Mm-hmm. No, no. This is this is awesome. Thank you for making our one-year anniversary extra special, guys. Yeah, very enjoyable. Yes, and I appreciate you guys listening to all these episodes you guys had a lot of knowledge it was good (laughs) i look forward to next year Mm -hmm. yes (laughs) so thank you again like isela said thank you for choosing to spend your day with us you could have spent your day with anybody else but you chose to spend it with us there's nobody else that isela and i would rather spend our day with than you all oh how sweet this is true thank you very much so before we let you all go elena did you have anything that you wanted to plug uh, any socials where you want to be found? No, I mean, I'm at Pixie01Angel on Instagram, and that's pretty much it. The Duke. So great to finally speak to you face to face from across the pond. Anything you want to plug? Uh, where do you want to be found? No, I like to be stay hidden on the internet. <laughs> Completely respect that. That's fair. AJ, good to talk to you again, bro. I haven't seen you or talked to you in a long time. I know that you do have a Twitch channel where you play first-person shooters like Call of Duty and Fortnite. <laughs> How can people check your raids and pillaging or whatever pillaging. people do in those games? Where can you be found? So if anyone is interested in chess, I actually do stream chess every weekend. I recently had a ring light outage, so I haven't been going live recently, but I ordered a new ring light and will be getting that new ring light in soon. So if you want to see my new ring light and check out how bad I am at chess, <laughs> you can find me at <laughs> badlybrokengaming.twitchtv. Very cool. Awesome. Cool. So we hope that you enjoyed the show and you join us again next week. If you're enjoying the show, leave us a review, tell a friend, and subscribe. Wherever fine podcasts are sold. Follow us on the socials at greetingstac. Email us at greetingstac at gmail.com. Or 
leave us a voicemail at 915-317-6669. If you have a story to share with us, 